Hi guys, we got a banger today. We're up at Lake Darbonne with LMB Custom Jigs and we got into some crappie. We got a mess of crappie. So we're going to show you those jigs today. We're going to go over that. We're also going to head on back to his place. We're going to do some jig tying. Y'all stay with us. It's going to be a good one. Ooh. I don't think that's a white card. <laughs> what number again? <laughs> number 12. Number 12. <laughs> All right, well, we are at Lake Darbon this morning and we have LMB Custom Jigs, Mr. Brad Black, down here holding the boat for us. And we're gonna go out. He told me to bring no rods, no baits, no nothing, just come ready to catch some fish. So, so we'll see. We're gonna put the baits, custom baits to the test this morning. Then we're gonna go and uh, check out some uh, at some point how we uh, how we make some jigs and that kind of stuff. And he probably won't tell us all the secrets on how you make them, but we'll try to get uh, we'll try to get a few little tips on it. So, <laughs> hi. Right. Let's see if we can find some fish here. Huh? You excited? I'm ready. I'm excited. All right. Let's do it. He's probably not gonna carry us to a secret hole today, so uh, you have to settle for probably like any holes. No hole. We're just gonna go and just put out in the water somewhere. This is gonna be uh, Plan C, maybe Plan D if you're on tournament day. This is gonna be your. Uh, it's gonna be your deal. Can't everybody catch one of those? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got Brad here with a uh, LMB Custom Jigs, and we are using a. Uh, what color is this right here, man? This looks very familiar. Yep, that's 04. That's the bluegrass with a pink head. We put a yellow chenille on there, a yellow body. So we've got uh, pink and chartreuse. Therefore, you've got both the main colors and then you've got the uh, bluegrass body, bluegrass yeah. tail, I mean. It looks yeah. good. Is that feathers? Yeah. Okay. We use feathers for all of our tails. Awesome. Well, it looks good. He says this is the uh, catching machine this week, so. Yeah, that's what we've been catching them on. Oh, yeah, we're going to rip them on it. <laughs> And that one is right there at the base of that tree. Yep. Got him. Got a boy. Got him. Got a boy. Got him. Woo! Got <laughs> a boy. Boat. Little boat flip with the ACC. Woo! <laughs> there we go, right there. <laughs> LMB, custom <laughs> jig, doing a little work. <laughs> awesome. This color right here, this is the next color I'm coming out with. Pink and purple with a pink tail. Uh -huh. We've been testing it and it has been been really good. There's a, uh, getting all my colors mixed up. There's a purple color my dad uses every now and then. Purple Passion maybe? Yeah, and that's what this one's kind of based off you. of. Okay. Yeah. So that's gonna be the new color. Check that out, can you see it? Cause, uh sun behind us but so what's the uh, release date on it maybe uh i'm should have it out in the next two weeks okay yeah so what number is it gonna be I believe it's 74 74, 74. Gotcha. yeah i'll put awesome. it out on facebook the um yeah because 73 is pink purple <clears throat> and green mm -hmm. tail this is going to be pink purple and pink and we have been my my <laughs> My testers, they're, they're called the L&B boys. Uh-huh. <laughs> and they have been smashing them smashing on Smashing with it? Yeah. So is it just you that makes them or is there uh, it's somebody just else? Me. Okay. Just me. I'm the marketing guy, the warehouse guy. I'm everybody. <laughs> I do it all. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, cool. Yeah. Um, I will be keeping an eye out for it. I, 
my dad kind of got me started doing it. I used to time just for me and Ray in the spring when they were on the trees, you know, mm -hmm. and I would use plastics the rest of the year. And then I started tying some and we started using them all the year. And so then put some in honey hole and it just kind of started taking off. Yeah, I was at Parish Line this morning and yeah. saw your sign and a whole bunch of them hanging up on the wall there. So it's pretty stocked up. So I'm in six stores now. Gonna be in seven hopefully soon. Got him. Got him. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one too. Got your big Opelousa? <laughs> I don't know. It might you be might a goo. Need a net? <laughs> I don't think that's. I don't think that's a white perch. Oh, oh yeah. A oh, goo. Got a goo. That's a freshwater redfish, man. <laughs> Put him on the grill. I was excited when that sucker started <laughs> doubling that pole over. I was like, oh, that's not a white perch. <laughs> Got the goo, man. <laughs> about within five years you're gonna be able to just tap on it yeah and say <laughs> it's gonna say no nope, that's a not a crappie oh that's a bass <laughs> yeah 3.5 pounds <laughs> <laughs> hey it's coming Come on over here. Come on. Here we go. Oh, there he is. Nip. Good. No, I, good gracious. <laughs> <laughs> I made him nervous this morning a few times already. There he is right there. Alright. Oh, that little bit. <laughs> That's 73. 73. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even ask you what pound you're fishing with. <laughs> dad, me and my dad were fishing the other day. It's like, what pound line are you fishing with there, son? You've been boat flipping them fish all morning. <laughs> yeah, you can boat flip them. Got one? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good one there. That's a good one. Oh, he's barely hooked. Uh oh. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. There you go. Oh, yeah. What number we got there? That's number 11. Number 11. That's three nice ones. Yeah. All right, well, maybe we got something. Maybe we got something working here. We'll see. The what kind of knot we're going to do? We're going to do a, a Sam Robertson loop knot. <laughs> Whew. that's a fancy looking loop knot right there i'm quick at it man because i've tied it a million times you watch a lot of videos on it huh <laughs> <laughs> i've had a lot a lot of practice tying it <laughs> all right well we have we changed over what number is this one that is 12. The number 12 is very similar to a glitter critter if you're familiar with those so there we go there we go. There we go, right there. That's going to be a crappie. There we go. Good one right there. And the brand new number. Number 12. Number 12. Glitter critter color. Let's see it right there. Mr. Sam, it works. That's a nice one. Yeah. Ooh. There you go. You had the right depth, I guess. Yep. Very nice. 36 strikes again. Whew. Good one. They've been kind of real pinky today. They've been very pinky. <laughs> right. Come on, baby. Yeah, 
Shallow. Oh, he's coming off. See that one pull off? Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. That'll pull away. Yep. <laughs> that net on this one. <laughs> oh, no. There you go. Oh. We're, good. We're good. I know. I didn't, I didn't bring it over good enough for you. Ah. Woo. Well, we found the, we found the honey tree. <laughs> <laughs> the magic tree. Did you get one? Now, can't everybody catch one of those? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, master fisherman! Not only it's small. That was good. <laughs> Use that as bait. This bar fish. <laughs> oh, got him surrounded. There he is. He's looking at your ears. You see him? Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> son of a gun. <laughs> Sometimes it's, just better not, <laughs> it's better not to look at him. Got him! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, you you got, got him. That's why I didn't get him, man. I was a little bitty guy for the day. I didn't want to catch that. <laughs> Throwing him back! That's a good fry daddy right there. That's small fry. That's what we call him, you know? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Talk to us. Are they, are they still down there? <laughs> okay. Lots of them? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. See you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Got him. Oh, number 12. Back on our, back on our little tree right here. <laughs> Shoot. Get down there on the bottom. Back side up back there. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Ripping them. Ripping them <laughs> lips, son. Ripping them lips. Uh, guess what I'm fixing to put on? <laughs> what number again? <laughs> number 12. Number 12. <laughs> because that's that more is. than three. Who's that sitting right there by that big old stump? That's him. The same one. Oh, yeah. Should have kept coming in. That was just right there. Son, oh. hey, like that. Yep. Atta boy. Atta boy. <laughs> Atta boy. <laughs> Dropping it on his head. Uh. <laughs> uh, that's the way you do it right there. That's it, man. That's it. That is how you do it. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Boom. <laughs> I couldn't see that. We did a little cast out to him. He swatted it away. 
uh, a while ago swam over that stump and the number 12 <laughs> put the hammer on him. Chased him down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That was some good boat control there. Very good, very good. <laughs> I, I could tell you'd already given up on me. You stopped paying attention to what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, I, did, I didn't see that you were right there on him. <laughs> my bad. Open, I just opened my bell and just let her eat, man. <laughs> that sucker was in 18 foot of water. Yeah, he was down there. <laughs> oh, look, they're just going back and forth between yeah, us. That's exactly what's going on. Is that a black or white? Shoot. It's a black. Oh my gosh. Black rubber. He ate it, man. Just whack. Just whacked it. <laughs> Just whacked it. Keeper. <laughs> <laughs> Got one? Smoked another one? <laughs> son, son, son. We got a little pile going on right here. Ooh. That's a nice one. What bait are you using there? Number 12? <laughs> Number 12. Ooh, smoking them. <laughs> Y'all better go pick them up. They about to be hot. <laughs> I guess we're gonna call that a wrap out here on Lake Darbon. It has been a blast out here fishing. We're gonna transition over to go into his shop. He's gonna show us uh, the jig tie and all that kind of stuff. Action of uh, L and B custom jigs, and uh, yeah, should be fun. I'm actually looking forward to that part, seeing uh, seeing your setup and just kind of seeing the whole process. So it's boring to most, but <laughs> it's fun. it looks good to some. So we'll show you a little bit. We're not going to show you all the all the dirty little secrets, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we'll definitely show you how, how it's done. We'll show you number 12 and all those other good colors today uh, that we caught them on. And uh, yeah, just make sure you go uh, check out your uh, tackle shops and uh, pick you some up. So yeah. So we start with a little, believe it or not, fingernail polish on the shank here. What that does is that's just going to, it does two things really. It kind of gives my thread something to grab onto when I'm tying. And when it dries, it also keeps the feathers from turning on the jig head. Cool. So we start with that and we take a piece of crystal. Crystal flash. Go down the shank there. I always, I put red in all of my jigs red thread so it's always going to have a little bit of red that's my one of my trademarks so you'll see red in all of the lmb jigs that you buy so next we're going to take the feathers I'm cut ends off there to get me a flat edge flatten them out for me roll down a little bit on the shank i go three rounds uh, flatten them out get them stuck got to make sure everything's the way i want it next i go with the flashaboo this gets all over the house too so i get to clean that up Roll it down, come back up. This is called a whip finisher. It basically just ties the knot for you. So that's my red thread. That's my first. The red thread is always going to be on the bottom. Then I come back with my thread. It's normally going to be the thread that matches the chenille, which is what we're going to put on next. Stop it right there. Take my chenille. Get it 
stuck on. And I take some super glue. Paint some super glue on that shank. Make sure that it sticks good. I've had guys show me jigs that have the just completely torn to pieces and they're all and it's still stuck together everything's still there it's just go around a couple times there take my whip finisher tighten that cut off my chenille take it off check to make sure everything's centered everything off and there you go there's your number 12 number 12 and that's what we were ripping them on <laughs> uh just uh two days ago and um so yeah it was a uh, it was a good time that was you know everybody can go out make your custom jigs <laughs> Yeah, I sat go here, for it. I sat here and watched that, and I'm like, there ain't no <laughs> way I could go back and like duplicate something like that. And um, but I would definitely be going down to the local tackle shop, six different stores, right? Six yep. stores, yep. six stores currently, and uh, hopefully we can get them in some more here soon. And uh, so yeah, awesome, awesome local business up here in North Louisiana. So, yeah. Thanks, thanks yeah. for highlighting it. Yeah, Appreciate yeah. it for sure, for sure. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. It's been fun. We're hopefully going to do some more of these here soon. So hope you like them. Let me know down below. If you have somebody you want to highlight or something like that, let me know down in the comments and we will uh, try to make it happen. So it has been a pleasure, brother. Thanks. So now i got to talk him into uh, let me go fishing with him again. <laughs> I gave him all the fish on that last uh, <laughs> last trip. So he owes me he owes me an ice chest for a while. <laughs> hey, y'all have a good one. Wyatt? Did you learn something? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all have a good one.